Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. In this flow series we will see how to create email template in Salesforce flow. For that let's take a scenario. So in this scenario we want to send an email to the employees who are working in Salesforce technologies about the group discussion meeting. So here we will not use any lightning template or classic template. We will create an email template in Salesforce flow and using that email template we will send an email to the employees who are working in Salesforce technologies. So for that we will create a flow. Then we will need to create email template in the flow. And after that we will debug the flow and activate that flow. So without any delay let's jump to the org. To create a flow in the quick find box search for the flows. Under the process automation you will see the flows click on it. Now here we are going to create new flow for that here you can see new flow button click on it. Now after the updation here we have two options start from scratch and then use a template. Here I am using start from scratch and then click on next button. Now here we need to select flow type. So here as per our scenario we want to send an email to the employees who are working in Salesforce technologies about the group discussion meeting. That means this flow should send all employees at a particular time. So it is for regarding the meeting after sending an email the flow should get deactivated. For that here we have schedule trigger flow. This allows us to set particular date and time so that we can automate the process. Here I am selecting schedule trigger flow and then click on create button. Now here we need to select start date and time. So here I am selecting today's date means current date and then time. That means the start time that you select on that time the flow will trigger and the email will be sent to the particular employees. Now here I am selecting 10 am and now here we have frequency as you click on frequency here we have once daily and weekly that means as you select the once frequency after the execution of flow the flow will not execute again then we have daily frequency as you select it the flow will execute every day from the start date and the time that you provided then we have weekly frequency in the weekly frequency the flow will execute after every 7 days from the start date. Now here we want to send an email only once for that here I am selecting once. Then here we need to select object. Now first I will show you for which object we are creating this flow. For that I am navigating to the object. Here we want to send an email to the employees. For that here I have employee object as I click on it. Here I have a list of employees which are working on different different domains. We want to send an email to the employees who are working in Salesforce. Now again navigate to the flow builder. Here I am selecting in the object employee. Employee is a custom object which I have created. Now here we need to add some condition so that the records and the condition that we define are met then the flow will execute. For that here I am selecting the email field should not empty is null equal to false. That means the email field of any particular employee is empty. For that record this flow will not send any email. Then I am adding second condition. So in this scenario we want to send an email only those employees who are working in Salesforce technology. For that here I am selecting the domain is equal to Salesforce. Now we defined the conditions. Then we need to create an email template in flow. To create an email template. So before that here I am closing this. As you close this the information will get automatically saved. Now we want to create an email template in flow. For that here you can see the toggle toolbox. As you click on it here we have manager tab. And under that tab here we have new resources. As you click on it here we need to select resource type. Then click on this drop down. And here we have different different resource type. From here as we want to create an email template for that here you can see text template. Click on it. And now here we need to enter API name which will be used in the flow. Here I am entering notify to employees. This will be the email template which I give a name notify to employees. The description is optional you can enter the description it's a good practice. Now here we need to create an email body. Before that here you can see view as a rich text 
we need to change to the view as a plain text. Now we need to create a text template. Here I already created. I am copying this and paste to the body. Now at this moment, this template is a static template. We need to create a dynamic template. The dynamic template nothing but here you can see here we have dear name. Now we have multiple employees. When we send this email template to the employee that should be sent as that particular name. That means as I navigate to the employee object here you can see here we have Alex Anderson and Alex Joy. As we send the email template after the dear instead of name it should be sent as a dear Alex Anderson and for the different employee Alex Joy. For that here I am removing this name and instead of this name we need to insert a resources. For that here you can see as you click on it and then scroll down here you can see a record with employee object. Now this is the object that we selected while creating the flow. As you click on it you will see all the fields that you created in the employee object. Now here we need to select the employee name or you can directly search employee name here you can see we have employee name click on it then at the last in the best regard you need to provide who is sending the email here also I will select the dynamic value for that as you click on the insert resource scroll down and here you will see the user as you click on it you will see all the fields that we seen while creating the user here I am selecting username for that I am searching for the username user first name and then last name also and then company name to provide the company name of that particular user again click on the insert a resource and then here you can see organization click on it and then you will see organization name here you can see name click on it now in this way we can create dynamic email template in salesforce flow now i am clicking on done now under the resource we have successfully created text template which is the name of notify to employees now we need to send this email using a email action for that as you click on this add element you need to search for send email here you can see send email click on it enter the label send email to employees as you click on api name it will automatically populate then as you scroll down here we need to select set input values for the selected action so here we don't need to select all values the necessary values that we want to add to the email that only we will add the email body is very important here i am enabling this then click on enter value and here you need to select the text template that we created here you can see text template notify to employees now scroll down now as we using the flow email template we don't need to select email template id which is used for the lightning email template or classic email template now again scroll down and here we need to select a recipient address list as you enable this and then click on enter value here we need to select the email field of employee object for that as you scroll down here you can see triggering employee object as you click on it here you will see all the fields that we created in the employee object and here you need to select the email field here you can see email field click on it now here we don't need the recipient id now again as you scroll down here we need to select sender email address here i am enabling this and then as i click on the enter value to select the sender email scroll down to add the sender email address here you can see here we have running user as you click on it here we have all user fields and from this we need to select email field here we need to add subject here i am adding group discussion meeting 
and then save the flow here i am saving as flow email template a pen name will automatically populate then click on save button now our flow is ready to debug as you click on debug here we need to select an employee now first i will show you using different technology employee will the flow trigger or not for that here you can see the avon semma is a different technology employee here i am searching for avon's emma and then click on run button here you can see the flow not triggered as we go to the debug details and click on expand all here we will see the entry condition not matched now we will select the salesforce technology employee here we have alex anderson for that click on debug again and now here i am selecting alex anderson and then click on run button now here you can see the flow successfully completed and then as i expand this send email action here you can see this action get the email address then sender address then email then email subject that we entered then in the email body here you can see notify to employees and in the text template here you can see the dear alex anderson that means instead of the record name or instead of the name it it picked the name of employee now our flow is successfully debugged now we are ready to activate this flow for that here i am clicking on activate button our flow is successfully activated now the time is 9:58 am after 2 minutes this flow will trigger let's wait for that now let's check any of employee the email of group discussion meeting has got or not here i am opening the gmail if you didn't get any email check in the spam also here i am opening the spam and here you can see and here you can see the subject with group discussion meeting and the text template that we entered now in this way we can create email template in salesforce flow and use it accordingly i hope you have got an idea about email template in salesforce flow if you like the video hit the like button subscribe our channel and hit the bell icon to get regular updates thank you